Franco is obsessed with Jason. He wants to prove he's better at the art of killing than Jason is. If you want Jason involved, he can give us information from prison. No, that's not gonna work. We need to use Jason as bait to draw Franco out. Why would Jason cooperate? Because Franco poses a threat to everyone Jason cares about. We need to take this guy down. All it's gonna take is for you to convince a judge... To release the enforcer from the Corinthos Crime Organization? Are you kidding me? After I've salvaged my career by sending him to prison in the first place? You have a chance to put a high-profile serial killer behind bars. You want a career boost, this is it. I want to bring Franco to justice just as much as you do. Oh, well, that's good. Now's your chance. Franco is an international killer. He's a suspect in multiple killings in France. Interpol can oh, handle this. Interpol. The key to breaking this case is sitting right here in Pentonville. Okay, you, you just want to save your own ass, though. When Jason sent himself to prison, that was a check in your win column. But, but you're too worried about screwing that up? Exactly, because Jason Morgan is one less thug on the streets. Why would I take a chance on turning him loose? Oh, because Franco almost killed Lulu. He strapped her to a bomb and left her alone. If I hadn't gotten there ten seconds later, she'd be dead. The guy is sick. He's got to be stopped, and the best way to do it is Jason. All right, Detective, look, I think you've got a lot on your plate. Your brother just got, you know what, he's out of prison, and you have to see to it that he doesn't violate the terms of his release. Michael's not going to violate anything. He wants this guy stopped as much as I do. You are supposed to be building a case against your father, and I think you're using Franco as a way to avoid busting Sonny. Thanks for coming. Where is it? Not this way. Came in the mail today, addressed to our daughter, Jocelyn. Yes, and Carly also got a photo of Franco in with uh, Jocelyn's christening photos. Well, that happened a few months ago, correct? Right. How did you know? Well, when Dante received a crime scene photo in the mail, he called me in and showed it to me, and I went to see Jason at Pentonville to enlist his help. And how'd that go? Well, Jason stonewalled me at first. He said he was going to tell me everything he knows about Franco in exchange for Michael's release from prison. I explained I have no control over Michael's release, and cooperating with law officials can potentially save lives since Franco is bound to kill again. So Jason told you about Franco? Including the fact that he killed an inmate named Carter, who apparently targeted Michael. Carter's dying words were, Franco says hi. And now Maxie Jones just got a photo in the mail, too. So Franco is obviously trying to get a rise out of Jason. What are you guys going to do to catch this guy? Well, I think I might have a way to draw Franco out. We just got to get Claire to go along with it. Get Franco. Franco is wanted for murders in Europe as well as the U.S., which makes it a matter for international authorities. I believe you're going to take Carly's statement? Well, I, mean, I don't know. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? The envelope came in regular mail with no return address. I called Jax. Jax called you. That's it. We're going to need to bring this latest development to our superiors. Thanks a lot for your time. Uh, thanks for calling. Given everything that's happened, I know it probably wasn't your first instinct to involve the cops. I think you did the right thing. We want to get this guy just as bad as you do. Detective? I just got off the phone with my superiors, and they agree with you. Jason is the perfect bait. He's the perfect person to draw Franco out so we can have a chance to arrest him. So they're prepared to release Jason into your custody. Well, that is great. That is exactly what I wanted. Not quite. Well, how so? Because if Jason runs, you'll be charged with aiding and abetting and obstruction of justice. You might be the one going to prison.